The Georgia Supreme Court today reinstated a ban on abortions after six weeks of pregnancy while it considers an appeal. And while a few states, including Georgia, make exceptions when a fetus has life-threatening problems, most states with new abortion restrictions do not. Blaine Alexander has more. Jill Hartle could not wait to become a mom. She still remembers the second she found out. I was like sobbing. I was so excited. You felt like a mom. I felt like a mom in that in, in an instant. Her husband, Matt, dreamed of being a girl dad. <laughs> they even picked out a name, Ivy Grace. Every doctor's appointment brought good news until the 18 week scan. And our worlds like came crashing down. She came in and she said her heart isn't what it is supposed to look like. I think in that exact moment, my, my stomach dropped and I think I truly knew that it was going to be a really severe situation. It was a condition known as hypoplastic left heart syndrome, HLHS. Doctors said her baby's case was especially severe and her daughter would likely not survive long after birth. I didn't want her to have to go through so much pain and suffering. After more tests and more devastating news, Jill and her husband made the painful decision. If she were to live an hour or 10 days, I didn't want her to just I didn't want her to know nothing but pain. So my protective instinct was to do what I knew what was best for her, which was to send her to heaven. Every year, congenital or fetal anomalies impact one in every 33 babies born in the U.S. and range from minor to life-limiting or life-threatening. Since the Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade, at least 16 states have successfully enacted laws further restricting abortion access. Only three have exceptions for lethal fetal anomalies. We're not dealing with one-size-fits-all. and We can't make laws for one-size-fits-all. Dr. David Levine is a neonatologist who opposes abortion access and believes a baby should be carried to term even with a grim prognosis. Those families who have decided to spend time with their babies, however short it might be, by and large have benefited from it. They've been able to bond with their baby. Is it fair for a law to make that decision for a parent? There are many decisions that are taken out of our hands. Is it fair for the mother? to make that decision and take, take the baby's life away from him. Jill had to leave South Carolina and wait two weeks for an appointment in Washington, D.C. Those two weeks were probably the hardest two weeks I've ever experienced in my life. Every time you feel her kick or move, it's just a dagger to the heart. She believes abortion bans should have exceptions for cases like hers, giving women a chance to make a choice, however painful. I am a mom. I'm a mom to an angel in heaven, and I know that she's at peace. Blaine Alexander, NBC News, Charleston, South Carolina. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.